Hello, and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In today's TA Tech Tip, we're gonna learn how to load the titrant, or the injection syringe, on a manual Affinity ITC instrument. The first step in loading the Affinity syringe is to select manual mode if using an automated system. No action is needed for the semi-auto instrument. The green triangle or play button in the software is selected and a loading wizard is launched. The wizard prompts the user to load the cell if they haven't already. Use the needle and filling syringe with 200 to 500 microliter of the buffer that you're using the experimental titration. Remove the needle and replace it with the adapter tool. When prompted in the software, when the plunger is at the open position and the internal pump is on, load the buffer into the injection syringe to condition the surfaces with the buffer. After this step, blow air through the injection syringe. This is done by removing the filling syringe and pulling air through the entire volume. This air is used to blow out the titration syringe. This air purge will enable a clean load without breakage of the sample. The next step is to load the filling syringe with the actual titrant. The wizard in the software calculates the void or excess volume and adds this to the volume required for the titration experiment. The contents of the filling syringe is delivered at a constant rate to ensure that the sample doesn't break. Now the filling syringe is left in place and next should be clicked to progress in the wizard. The plunger then automatically moves to the correct position for the titration experiment and the pump is turned off. After this, the paddle will automatically start to rotate and the arm will move to the central position of the instrument for the experiment. In this TA Tech Tip, we learned how to manually load the injection syringe for an Affinity ITC instrument. Please stay tuned for more helpful TA Tech Tips, and thank you for your interest.